This is our last day in Seattle, so we're trying to hit up every spot we can before we go. It needs to be, can it be blue? Because today's Blue Friday. It is Blue Friday. Yeah. Blue Friday. When someone really wants Starbucks, you wait, right? <laughs> We're really adamant about getting into the first Starbucks. This is about attempt number three. It's been seven hours since we got in no. line. I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> it's been like 10 minutes since we got in line and we're inching closer. We're getting closer and closer to that wonderful aromatic. <laughs> Inches away, the wait was definitely worth it. We're here. Nash got the souvenir she wanted and they messed up my name. Overall, perfect experience. Just enjoying our coffees. About to head out to Nordstrom to visit another vlogger. Got three trips and block. <laughs> yeah, three trips and block. Marky, man. You shoot me, I shoot you, you shoot me, I shoot you. What's up? How's it going, man? Gosh! Nah. I feel like I know Mark. you. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? How was your guys' trip so far? Not too bad, busy as hell, man. Yeah? Device that you use for three minutes a day to diminish fine lines, wrinkles. Oh, It'll can be I put it on my... You can totally put it on. Right, cool. What are Here you go. Just vlogging, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. You know what it needs to be? Can it be blue? Because today's Blue Friday. It is Blue Friday. Yeah. I feel like a superhero right now. And I feel younger. You need that. You need that. I can Three see minutes a day. And oh, it's so bright. <laughs> Do you feel younger? How younger? I feel like a kid. <laughs> you feel like a kid again? Yeah. <laughs> sure. like the mother So there you have it, folks. Three minutes a day, and you can be young as heck. You can be old as heck and get rid of all these wrinkles. So there you have it. Number 11. Number 11's right here. 12. Now you know. 12s, 11s. So write that one down because I didn't know what a number 11 is and now I know what a number 11 is. I like that. Work. What's the score? Panthers fan. What's the score? They're gonna be like uh, 0 to 20. <laughs> 0 to. Wow. He says the Panthers are gonna shut down, shut out the Seahawks. Alright. So Carolina Panthers are gonna beat the Seahawks 20 to 0. And we, What's your name? Joseph. Joseph says that they're gonna beat the <laughs> Seahawks 20 to 0. Come on, guys. Go yeah, Hawks. Man. Go Hawks. Uh, no, go <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to Cam. Cam, I'm here. Uh, Cam. Oh, yeah. Tell Cam, I'm here in Washington. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is a good family friend of ours, so if you dig the Seahawks or biking, check out Diaries of a Dathlete or Walk Talk Hawks on YouTube. So after a little bit of catching up with Mark and a little bit of Walk Talk Hawks with them, we head to the Space Needle via the monorail from downtown to Seattle Center. So we finally got to the Space Needle, but unfortunately we couldn't go up. 
There was a celebration for Edgar Martinez, a former Seattle Mariners baseball player. This would have been Nash's first time at the top of the Space Needle, but unfortunately they were using it for the celebration of Edgar Martinez's number 11 flag being lifted at the top of the Space Needle. So that sucks. So I guess that just gives us another reason to come back. Right, love? So not being able to go up to the Space Needle was a bit of a bummer. But on an up note, we got to ride bikes. Kind of like the city bikes in New York, except here in Seattle, we have Lime Bikes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.